Hey everybody. Been a while. I got me a new plastic turntable that's cheap from Amazon. Uh, it's not as loud as my ball bearing one and it it spins a little bit easier. So I want to put some contact paper on just to save it from a bunch of paint splatter. So that's what I was putting down is the contact paper. If it goes over, you know, I've got it kind of covering the top of the ledge over a little bit, like a little bit of a gap, quarter inch or so. But I'm just doing tiles today. Trying another Shelly art bloom technique recipe. I had someone request, and she's a client and a friend, she wanted to have me do an experiment making the cell activator in a different way with regular US Floetrol. And I'm going to give it a try today. First, I'm going to mix my colors. And I want to give a special shout out to Christina Welch. She's very graciously sent me some of her colors. Allen's Red Shimmer, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer, Moody Blue Shimmer, which is a deep blue, which looks really pretty. And I'm going to throw in some uh, Folk Art Treasure Gold. So, I'm trying to keep it to a recipe. I'm very famous for not measuring anything. So I'm trying to measure. So I'm going to do it in teaspoons because I'm not going to mix a whole lot of paint. I'm just doing four tiles, if this even works. So I'm just going to do two parts flow trial to one part paint regular US Floetrol. This is a teaspoon. One. Two. It's a healthy two teaspoons. I'm not, because I'm not scraping it out. One. Two. and last one one two okay now I'll scrape just to get as much of the flow trial off the thing so I'm gonna do two parts flow trial to one part paint as far as the recipe goes. So, this beautiful treasure gold. I'm going to do one teaspoon in each thing, but I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to watch the slow motion version.
Okay. Um, the gold looks about right. These are thicker because it's better quality paint of Christina's and um, I'm going to add one more t teaspoon of Floetrol to each of these just to thin it down a little bit more. The gold is more fluid so it seems to be okay. Found these neat little uh, plastic appetizer kind of bowls. They don't have lids. They're not good for long-term storage unless you put <coughs> plastic wrap over them or whatever. They don't have lids, but they were a dollar at Dollar Tree for about 20 of them or so. So, great for short-term usage. All right, so three parts Floetrol, one part paint for Christina's. Porridge Posse colors. The cell activator, I'm going to put it in this little cup here. And I'm going to do three parts Floetrol to one part paint. This time I'm just going to use a half a teaspoon. So I'm going to do three, one, and I almost went over, I did go over on that, so three, one part Amsterdam titanium white, standard series, that's usually the go-to white that everybody uses for their cell activator, it's good quality, nice and bright white, thick, okay, got to mix that in really well together, okay, so this is U.S. Floetrol, and uh, some people have a recipe where it's Floetrol and Minwax wood conditioner that's in a can, I'll show it to you, pre-stained wood conditioner, I don't like it didn't work for me really per se so I wanted to try just something that would be a normal household US item well it would be a normal household item in any country actually I keep making sure this is really really mixed well Wood cutting board oil, which is pure mineral oil. This is made to do on butcher block uh, countertops to set, you know, seal in wood and stuff. And so my friend asked if I would test it out. So I'm going to do this, is, uh, I'll just drop it in from the bottle. One, two, three. Three drops. Mineral oil. This would be the cell activator. <coughs> the base coat is going to be Walmart's Color Place Satin White. And um, I've got a jug like this and I've got the rest of the gallon in a um, dish liquid container. It's a little, you got to use a funnel, it's a little, you know, iffy to get it into the bottle but it's a great way to be able to pour it out so that's what I have for my white face paint. I would imagine really people using all different kinds of brands. I would imagine that most of them do work um, for your base. The pillow is what it's called in the 
Shelly Bloom World is the pillow, which is the base coat. And it's usually put on pretty thick so that your paint kind of glides over and stretches. I'm going to do a test. I want to do a test. Okay, so here's the cell activator. Trying out Floetrol with the mineral oil in it. Going to blow and see what happens. So this would be like a mini bloom. <laughs> and you give it a minute to kind of do its thing and kind of come back in the white. So I'm going to let it sit just for a few minutes, but right now it looks pretty good. Okay, so I see just, just by not even waiting and looking that it appears to be working. So, put my little sample aside and we're just going to do tiles. We're going to do four tiles. I always like to do it in pairs or in sets of four. So I may do two one way and two another way. So this time we'll put a healthy dose of white base coat. This time I did not add any water or um, GAC 800, but I recommend adding at least the GAC 800. I just totally forgot to. So if you can add that, that helps prevent cracking and crazing. Just a little tip that I do like to do and I totally forgot to add it as I was pouring here and I'm not going to add it now because it's too late. So, but you add it into your base coat. I'm going to keep it on the thicker side though. So I'm looking at this here and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to proceed like normal. I'm going to put on a healthier dose. I'm going to keep the red under the blues. I'm just doing two at a time to you know, speed up the process. I'll, and I'll spin. I like to spin them after I blow them just to kind of equally distribute the paint a little easier and faster than stretching uh, the paint. Put a little bit more down there. So I don't have much in this white cup. I mean this little solo cup. And I don't have much white at all, so. When you blow down too hard, it goes down to the white, and I did that on this tile here, so that was my boo-boo. I'm going to let it sit for a minute. I generally will put the white in a cup so I can kind of get to it easier uh, than pouring it out of a jug or whatever, so just a little tip. move this one and we'll spin one at a time. That looks pretty good with the mineral oil as opposed to Minwax wood stain conditioner or the uh, use an Aussie Floetrol for those that are in the U.S. that can't afford the the Aussie Floetrol because by the time you pay for shipping just a liter is a, a good sixty dollars a liter. This one is not gonna have color on this side because of 
me blowing too hard. The blowing is, is half the battle. If you have the recipe down, the blowing is half the battle. Because um, if you blow too hard, you go through your color and it makes your color leave. So I'm going to stretch this one a little bit. And I really wanted the blues to kind of pop out, so I may skip the red on this next one. I could technically redo this one, but I'm not. It's still pretty. Kind of mess this one up. I'm going to scrape it. Okay, I just wanted to stretch it where I got more of that blue. Um, I blew a little bit weird on that one as well. This one I'm going to just try different order of colors. Pretty. So I think sometimes when I'm looking at people's blooms and I'm thinking like if I looked at this in a picture I would think that the red was on the bottom just looking at the colors right now when that was the opposite the red was on the top cells so I'm just going to leave it This is probably the prettiest one. The final two with the red on top. So, there we go. I want to try, I want to try these with the black. And so I'm going to mix up really fast. This is a uh, Golden's brand. Heavy bodied carbon black. It's so thick and it's in a container that Christina Welch sent me to try. So I'm just going to take a little dollop of it. It would be three parts to one part. So one, two, three. Let's see how, if I mix this up right here, it may even take more flow trawl with the heavy body paint because the consistency needs to be right. So this is a crazy way to mix it, but I don't want to mix a whole batch of it because I don't know when I'm gonna do the pouring again so you can still see the paint is kind of thicker it's super thick so it's gonna take a little more flow draw so maybe four four to five parts flow draw to this um, golden carbon black. So I'm, I'm assuming this golden carbon black, this heavy body would be like the Cadillac of blacks, you know, as far as quality. And just a tiny bit more. And then, once again, 
I'm just going to add two drops of the mineral oil to the mixture. I'm going to do two six inch canvases. I'll either do a pair, if I like the first one, I'll do a pair, or I'll try two different color combinations for the fun of it with the black cell activator. Because I know how the white looks, but I've always been drawn to the blooms that have the black cell activator. I like to get just a little paint on the sides of the canvas so that it's not dry. And, you know, my measurements on that were not as precise, but because it's heavy bodied paint, you're probably going to have to adjust and have more flow trial because it is heavy body. I may have spun it too much. I feel like the black is still a bit too thick. What I'm going to do now, because now I know what red and gold and black look like, <clears throat> my last one will be all the colors with black on it, just for fun. The thing about this style is if you are enjoying it, it's kind of hard to stop, especially when you're working smaller scale and you've got, you know, lots of tiles around and things like that, you can really <laughs> just really keep going and going. And that was not my plan today. It was just to try out the mineral oil, so anyway. So on the black, it may just literally be where you do your regular ratio, like you do the white of the three parts or whatever, and you just literally put a little tiny bit of black in like you would the fluid black, uh, so that it's not so thick, but anyway. I can't wait. It's just fun. It's fun like doing regular acrylic pours. It's just fun to see what's going to come out because it's always a surprise and you kind of don't expect certain color combinations to look great and they do and it's like, ah, oh, I got to remember that. This may take just a little spin and that's all we might need. That's it. Done. Favorite of the day. So this prompts me to want to do more tiles. So maybe maybe I'll do them. kind of fast. Or at least one set that's this color. Okay, I decided to do a 10 inches.
so pretty. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope the mineral oil is a um, good suggestion for you. If you don't want to get the Aussie Flow Troll, you can add mineral oil a few drops to your cell activator and still use US Flow Troll and get great results. So, um, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it and I will keep experimenting i've got some other stuff up my sleeve too so uh, thank you again to christina welch for sending me a few of her samples of colors the sleeping beauty turquoise shimmer allen's red and moody blue shimmer both all those are shimmers and the golden brand carbon black heavy body paint for the cell activator i appreciate her sending that and um a shout out to chris leek for the suggestion on the mineral oil i hope she's happy with the results and I was so humbled and honored to be featured on Dirty Artist Channel. And I will put a link during the video and at the end of the video for you to go over. She did a uh, feature of my paintings over on her channel. And she did a beautiful job editing the video and putting some music to it. It's just a nice, relaxing 10-12 minute video. And I would love for you to go check it out. And thank you to Dirty Artist for that a feature. I'm so honored. So I will check you out on the next video. Keep on pouring. Keep on painting. Keep on making beautiful art. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.